Hey guys, welcome to Adventure Channel Canada. In today's video, we are going to attempt to install a village pump uh, bypass shutoff switch. A lot of you guys have uh, requested that on the uh, channel because the bilge pump does stay on when the CDU is running. And sometimes you want to listen to music or you want to do some fishing and you just don't want to hear it. So in this episode, this is part three of bilge pump installation. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, so the purchases I have made are a switch. I got a uh, plain switch, no lights on it, no nothing, just a plain two-way switch. And I got it from Amazon. I can only get like four or five. So it's a rocker switch. I bought some uh, wire connectors various sizes from Amazon. So we can splice the bilge pump and connect to the switch. And I bought some wire, 14 gauge. Not too sure if that's just overkill or not, but we'll see. And I also bought a 20 millimeter drill bit because uh, the circumference of this is uh, 20 millimeters. So it can perfectly fit. All right, so the I'm thinking, or I would like to install the switch right here, um, right beside the USB port, and away from modern stuff, or uh, somewhere in here which I could you know do it here or something like that switch but uh, you know here water gets in so it can't be anywhere around here it has to be inside this uh, seal which I really don't want to do I'd rather do it in here where it's nice and dry so not sure how that's gonna work. I'm gonna take this off and see if that's a possibility. So to take this off, it's just clipped. You just pull this all up. And I believe there's, I think this just pops off too, or there's uh, the screws in here. All right, so first thing I'll do is I'll take this cover off, there's two screws, one in here. And one over here. And then you just lift this up and you see it comes off the hooks here. Like that. Let's put that down here. And I think we want to take all this off, this whole thing in one piece. So let me, I need both hands to do that. So let me try to get that going and see what happens. Okay, so up here, just push with your thumb, and uh, there's a little clip here, a little clip here. You pull that off, but there's a lot of resistance here. So I'm guessing I gotta figure out what's in this hole here and try to get it out. And also under here, I don't see anything. Oh, by the way, I put these little washers here and here to raise this black cover because it was vibrating here, making noises. I don't know if you guys have that problem, but 
You see dudes, plastics vibrate. Oh, wise guy, eh? All right, let's try to get this uh, whatever's in there and see what's up. Okay, guys, this is the screw that was in here. It's a whoa, eight millimeter. So I took that screw off. And uh, something here is loose. Some resistance right here. Not sure why. Okay, slide. So you slide back, and that will take it off because of these hooks under that. So an eight mil, and uh, and then pull back. Now we'll release this. Okay, it still did not give us. Freedom to take this off easily. So, what's this? Oh, let's take that off. Okay. I think uh, we need to take this off. Let's do that. All right, guys, I took the screw off. Oh, yeah, and that did it. There we go. So we'll do the other side. And uh, this whole thing should pop off. And then that will give us access in there to see if we can mount our switch in there. All right, so I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then see what I okay guys I took the other side off and I broke this ear that goes here so if you're gonna do this be very careful when you're taking this out uh, basically you'd have to pull back turn and then out so it's not a big deal but it does suck. All right, next step is to uh, take this off, which is a number 10. All right, so we got that off. Everything seems nice and loose. There's another clip right in there. Just push it back and loosen it. And that's the last one right there number 10 so let's take that off and then this whole thing will be off all right guys so i got this off successfully so i uh it was like that and then i turned it and then it went right out through the steering wheel like that so let's put that somewhere okay And here we are. And I don't see anything. Shit. Oh, there we go. Well, if I can see the USB on the other side, let's go on the other side. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's the USB wire right there. Zoom in. By the way, I'm using my cell phone for this installation. So that's the USB that runs through here, through here. I thought it was supposed to be mounted this somewhere. Through here and then into this thing here which I thought was supposed to be mounted as well somewhere. Seems to be missing some clamps. Anyways, 
I think we're okay. So I want to mount it right there. Right where that hole is, but right behind that hole is this. Right there, and that's not possible. Now, oh, there's the USB. So, let's see what else we can do. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna mount the switch right here. I'm gonna be drilling through this plastic and then this one here, and then come up through here. I put my phone in here and it's fine. So it'll be kind of like right there, but obviously flush. So that's the plan. All right, let's get her done. But uh, before we do that, let's run the wiring. So we're gonna have to run the wiring from here where the bilge pump is. Uh, somewhere in here, I can't remember. Run it underneath here. And then figure out how to bring it up here. Let's bring this down. So that will be interesting. Let's figure that one out. Okay, guys, I'm going to take off this cover now, which is one screw there, right there, you can see it. And another one on the opposite side. So let's take this off and see what we can find. Okay, took the two screws off. Again, one there and one over here. And now you just want to pull back. And then this whole thing comes off. Put that on top there. Okay, so I think we need to kind of go into here. Look at all this, the speakers and the USB are all right here. Speaker wire, right speaker wire, to the power, to the USB port, USB port uh, module regulator. So your telephone doesn't blow up. Okay, so hopefully I just run a fishing wire down that hole and should be easy. Hopefully. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so now I'm just cleaning the surfaces here. Get rid of all the water spots. And I've noticed a lot of areas where it's been rubbing. Like, right there, right there. And all along here, these are the clips, but right there. So my CDU has 160 or 70 hours, and that's what I got. So check yours, because I don't like that. You can see it. So what should I do to prevent that? I think I'm gonna get some silicone putty, marine silicone, and uh, figure out if I can mount it on the cover there. And maybe it won't have so much noise either. If I put something in between there. Cause it's, it's in there, it's scratching it right off the gel coat. 
All right, something we will do at the end. If you guys have any suggestions, write on the comments. And maybe I'll correct it with what I've done. Whatever I'll do later on this video, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, that's not coming off. All right, let's fish the wire. That's how it looks underneath, guys. Oh, by the way, since I'm here, this thing right here is a steering wheel uh, cable. So if you're steering, it's supposed to be straight like that but your ski is actually going left or right. And the only way to actually go straight is to have it slightly on an angle. Then you just need to adjust this cable here. Oh, wise guy, all you do eh? Is I'll should take that cover that's right here off. And you push this uh, lever back. Where is it? There it is, with your hand. I just pulled it back when I'm Holding it with my it's so hard. This lever here, push that back, and then you turn this. You turn that. You turn that. Left or right to go straight. And then push it back after. And that will straighten out your. Uh, your jet pump in the back. Okay, sidetrack, get back into it. Let's uh, figure out how to fish this wire. Hey guys, here's the bilge pump wire that goes into the fuse box. I'm going to take out the, I took out the wires a little bit here. I'm gonna cut the brown one, uh, which is the positive or the feed. Cut that and then run two wires to the, uh, to the switch up here. All right. All right, I fished the line into this hole here and I ran it through and uh, it popped out about here, I saw it. And uh, there it is, it's right here. So perfect. So I'm gonna attach the, uh, the wire, but before I attach the wire, I'm gonna put some uh, heat tape on this just to protect that. I mean, there's not gonna be any heat over there, but just so it looks cool too and pretty. This stuff here, this Teflon heat tape. So let's do that. And then I'll attach it there. And then I'll uh, fish it back up. All right, and on this end, I'm going to use the uh, connector for the switch and I'm going to mount that there using the wire connectors. You could do it your way but this is kind of how I'm going to do it. All right so I run the uh, connector in here in the middle here is solder and I connect the two wires and then I run this through here Till I get to the soldered part. Till I get to the soldered part. Like so. And I'm gonna use the heat gun to melt the solder that's in the middle. And then it uh, shrinks this, makes it uh, watertight, and it solders it for a good connection. How oh, hot. A few moments later. It's pretty hot. I gotta wait till I see air goes. So then the uh, the solder melts, and then it starts spreading, and uh, that's when I stop. 
and I just let it dry. And it looks like that after. Nice and solid. All right, so we got our two ends. There it is. I did both red to indicate that they're both positive. Even though this wire is black, but I'm gonna tape it up and you're not gonna be able to see it. So we'll do it. will be like that. All right. Okay guys, the tape is the, uh, called the wire. Wiring harness, auto tape, heat resistant, and it protects it. I bought it from Amazon, Red Wolf. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, tape that up, like so. Line her up. and tape it all up. I'm gonna go down like that, all the way to the end, okay? So it can look like it's OEM, original equipment, and uh, a little bit and you know like nothing if there's stuff moving back there which there isn't but the gas tanks there and this will just give that extra protection so it'll look like that all right okay guys so i finished taping it up with the auto tape and uh then i taped it and now with the fishing line i am uh, pulling it out and there it is. So then uh, we're gonna take this tape off, run it through here, and now it looks OEM, see? You see it's the same as the OEM. So I'm gonna shove it in there. Run it through here. And the next is to drill a hole there and mount the wires here, put some tie downs, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, let's do that. Okay guys, we're gonna take off the uh, engine cover. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, about 14 screws. Um, I showed you guys how to take this off in previous videos, so we'll take this cover off just so we can see the bilge pump and uh, make sure I got the right wires. I'm pretty sure it's this one, but I didn't. I did that like a few years ago or last year, I can't remember. So I just want to double check. And I also put the switch on here temporarily just to do a test before I go ahead and drill. So um, let's do that. All right, so I got all the screws off and uh, now I'm just gonna take it off. And uh, everything's nice and dry. Sweet. All right, so here's the bilge pump. Here's the wire. And then the wire turns in, into this one here. So yeah, that's the one, correct. And everything in here looks good. I don't see any water or any damage. Okay. Okay guys, got the cover off. I took the bilge pump out just to give me some more slack on the wire here so I can work on it easier, bring it up here. 
And while I was taking this out, I found this. The exact same connections they used uh, from the bilge pump to the uh, fuse box. So that's kind of cool. So at least I know I'm doing it OEM style and properly. So I'm going to tap into the gray here. I'm going to cut it uh, and tap it in. One side will be the one wire from the switch and then the other wire over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first, let's make sure that the uh, bilge pump still works. So for any reason I messed up, at least we'll know. Yeah, so, so we're good. So let's go ahead and cut that wire. Oh, for safety, um, you could disconnect the ground wire right there. That one there on the battery. All right, so I'm going to tap in to those wires now, and then I'll show you guys how that looks. All right, guys, there's the, the wiring job here. So we did uh, the two browns and we connected them here. I put them away and uh, taped them up so it'd be nice, but for now, here they are. This phone doesn't know what to zoom into, uh, focus on to. All right, so um, let's test it. Got the battery uh, plugged in. Um, by the way, this uh, melted a little bit here because of the heat gun. So I I put a plate under here and I put a plate here and here um, just to keep the heat away from the other electronics and protect everything. And I was a little concerned putting that much heat in here, but at the same time, this thing gets super hot when you're riding for hours. So it's all good. All right, let's plug it in. Um, so right now, the switch is off. So fire this up. The bilge pump uh, should not work at all. Okay, powered up. Switch on. Switch off. Switch on. Switch off. Success! Woohoo! All right, so the next step for me would be to uh, clean all this wire up, put everything away, finish putting the auto tape on here, maybe put some um, electrical tape on here just to make sure uh, it's nice and tight. And then uh, once I do that, we'll be drilling, which I'm scared shitless to do, by the way. But uh, needs to be done. All right, let's do it. Okay, guys, we're all done with the wiring down here. There's the final product right there. So snip through there, one wire that way, one wire that way, 
and uh, looks good. I'm really happy with it. I'm just gonna tie strap everything up. You guys don't need to see that part. Next part is the drilling. The part that I've been avoiding the most. A little concerned because the button is not thick and I have to go through this plastic and well oh, can you guys see here? I have to go through this plastic and that plastic and I don't know how this is gonna handle it all but <sighs> oh, things I do for the channel all right, let's do it. Okay, guys, I drilled it. This is my 20 millimeter drill bit. Here's what it looks like. Nice hole on the back. You guys can see down there. Looks good. And now I'm just gonna run the wire through here and push uh, push that in and see what happens all right guys and there's the uh, final product bada bing bada boom looks sweet love it discreet come in here turn it on turn it off all right guys that's the final product tell me guys what you think comment below love to hear your thoughts i mean it's not a perfect cut if you zoom in a thousand times um but it's good like from from normal viewing you know you can barely see it uh, so then there's the wire running through here i'm gonna tie it tie the wire here and tie it uh, over here and then that's it Okay, guys, so I got all the ties, the wire strapped down, all the wire strapped down here. And let's do one final test before putting things back together. Everything works perfectly. So we're just gonna clean this up here and uh, get all the shavings, the plastic shavings out. And give this all a good wipe down, a good clean. And then uh, we'll get this stuff back on slowly. All right, next step. Okay guys, now I'm gonna put the engine cover back on and I just flipped it upside down. And uh, let you know that when you do a maintenance or forever you take it out, take the opportunity and clean the rubber gasket that's around here. This way, when you put it on, it's not going to move around and scratch the gel. So just wipe this down and then put this back on. All right, cool. All right, folks. So... I got the engine cover on with all my washers. You guys know from the last episode, I put these on because I uh, do a lot of um, skiing and stuff, and this thing just torques, man. Uh, so I figured I put some washers in here just to get a nice grip. Uh, so I got that done, cleaned everything up, vacuumed everything from all the clippings, my uh, I tested my phone. I have an iPhone uh, Pro 14 Pro Max, so the biggest iPhone, and it fits in here uh, snug and with the USB charger. And it's not in the way of the switch. Switch I will just leave on always. And uh, so now I'm just gonna put the cover on. So let's put the cover on. 
Okay, guys, so I'm going to put the front cover on, and I'm just looking here, and I see where it's rubbing and rubbing off the uh, gel coat. What do you guys think I should do? I have some uh, rubber silicone sealant. Maybe I'll just put that. Let's try it. Okay, guys, so I bought this, uh, well, I had this uh, silicone putty and uh, wrapped it around here. I hope I don't regret it. hope it doesn't make a mess. And I just put it lightly there like that. And we'll see if that uh, helps with the vibrations or the noises and, uh, you know, prevents it from uh, ruining the hull. Let's see. Let me know if this is a terrible idea. Okay, guys, I put the cover on and uh, I ended up taking off that uh, silicone rubber. It just wasn't working, couldn't get it on too sticky so I just got rid of it and put this back on all right uh, yeah so put this back on two screws here one there and one over here um, and then we put uh, this on and then uh, this on and then the sides and we're done all right guys we are done we got it all done we put everything back together i just gotta put this cap on let the cedars back and that will conclude the village pump switch manual override switch i hope you guys uh found this video helpful and uh to the next one which will be Actually, I'm going to be installing a USB charger that has three ports on it. So I can charge my uh, drone and my GoPro camera and all that stuff. Because those GoPros, those batteries, they die very quickly. So we'll see about that one. I'm going to do some, put some thought into it, see what's up. But uh, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Till the next one.